<laughs> is that how you shotgun? What is up, Dark Sizzle Nation? Your boy, C Hill, coming at you. It's pretty crazy because I was in, literally in South Carolina, Paris Island, graduating from boot camp, and now I'm back here in down south in Florida. Freaking loving this weather. Luckily, it's, it's a little cold, but South Carolina was a lot colder. Yeah, so Connor left the civilian and in 13 weeks transformed to a U.S. Marine, and he's a private first class. So, oh yeah, clean bottom. Uh, so, which is totally awesome. Usually, he, you know, you start as a private, so he's already one rank up. And I'm just rigging up my favorite lure. I actually had to pull it out today. This is from a fan, Rick Karen. Thank you so much for sending this. I ended up breaking the last one I had because we had a heavy fish on. So this is my official brand new Missouri 3DB minnow. Link down below. And this is gonna catch us a ton of fish today. We got a snook, we got a snook hooked up. It is dirt low today. The tide is really low. Hopefully we can keep him hooked. He's side hooked, so he's gonna, it's gonna be a little bit of like a tougher fight to get him in. Hopefully we land this fish. Cross my fingers. Oh. oh yeah, he was hooked wrong. So he was hooked into like the whole side of him, like his gill and his body was hooked. Brian dragging him sideways. So I'll try to get another. Nice job. He's our crab bait. He had that snook, which I'm counting it as a catch, but we didn't really land it. So second second fish of the day. Nice jack, and this is perfect size for the crab traps. Hope, I don't know. Hopefully it's not a jack. Too common. Got plenty enough in my lifetime. <laughs> but I'll take it. That's perfect. Nice. <laughs> when I was like in it, it sucked, but now that I'm out, I'm kind of glad I went through it, but definitely don't want to do it again. We made the right decision? Oh yeah, best decision ever. Okay guys, we're checking our stone crab traps today after catching some bait for our stone crab traps. See what we got? We got an assortment of stuff in here. We got an assortment of stone crabs and a ton of catfish. Wow. It's a record of catfish. I'm sure you guys know, but I want to tell you anyways, you have to be careful with catfish, especially the small ones, because the barbs on their dorsal fins are extremely, extremely sharp. And I learned the hard way one time. So I'm just using pliers, staying far away from them. Not, don't even want to touch them. I want nothing to do with catfish. <laughs> and there's too many in here. There's like six. Unfortunately, all three crabs in there were not keepers. One didn't even have claws, which is really awesome to me to find out ones with no claws are getting inside traps. What's that? Is that YouTube? Yeah. Yes. Yeah, you're on YouTube. What's your name? Oh, look at that pretty pompano. Awesome. They caught a bunch of pompano in sand perch today. And they're just going in and they came to say hello. What's your name? Cecil. Cecil? Caesar. Caesar. Nice to meet you, Caesar. Thank you for watching. And you're on YouTube. Yeah. So, awesome. <laughs> Beautiful fish. <Yeah. laughs> Very cool. Yeah. Like yeah. How, how, 10? Yeah. Wow. Yeah. On the bridge? No. Thanks for stopping by. Yeah, if you made me stop, you love me. Awesome. Yeah. Thank you for watching, Caesar. Okay. Way cool. <laughs> and you gotta watch the video now. Okay. You're gonna be in it. I will. Okay. <laughs> Keep on catching, guys. Right. <laughs> Thanks for stopping. Way cool. That is so awesome. And that just makes me think of like how bad I suck at inshore fishing. They have like five, six different species over there. Croakers, Brian believes there's no fish here in the intercoastal and they just proved us wrong with 85, 90 fish in their cooler. I admit we never caught any pompano in here and he had a whole bunch of pompano. A croaker. A croaker, I wish you had cro one, cro perch. one croaker equals one snook. So you gotta catch those croakers, man. Yeah. Whoa, oh, Connor. Whoa, Connor. Oh my gosh. Check that out. Connor's cool lucky dude. This. Look at it inside and everything there. That's in it. Those are monster crabs, Connor. Yeah. Giants. Look Very at that giant nice. claw. Very nice. Connor, don't be scared. I'm not. You're a marine. I like All you gotta do is just like get them. Like they're crabs. I they're just wanna slow. kill it. I wanna eat his. <laughs> Pounce. You grab him like that. Look at that. And he's wow. freaking fighting right now really hard. Look at that crab. Look at those claws. Beautiful. Sick. He's looking up at me, ready to attack. Ready to freaking attack. Look at this claw. Look at this, it's the size of my hand. Wow. It's so cool every time you get a new, like you open up a trap, you see different kinds of like weird growths and weird claws and crabs. And different colors too. And then you just break it down. Oh, yo. Got you really good. Sorry. Sorry. 
Is that your nail? Yeah. It's alright, it's alright. Sorry, right. Dad. Look at that bad boy. Let go! Let go! That is one angry crab. That is one angry crab. <laughs> oh, he's got it! Oh, he just busted it. He busted it. Wow. Look at that. That's crazy. He just opened, he just made a hole for a shotgun. Connor, shotgun yeah. the land shark right now. <laughs> Look at this. It's straight hole in the land shark can. Deep hole too. Look how he dented it. But we just wanted to test it out. Connor was really interested to see if they could crush something. When we never did that before, we thought it was a cool idea. Good job, Connor. And he, it's official. He just went straight through this land shark lager can. Incredible. All right, shotgun. Hold on, the camera's got beer all over the lens. Beer, don't Hold see. on, only got a <laughs> shotgun, shotgun. <laughs> thanks, shotgun. thanks, crab. Stone crab shotgun. <laughs> Look at that claw. Is that how you shotgun? <laughs> all right, I'm not finished yet. <laughs> <laughs> and trust me, guys, we didn't harm any crabs in the making of this video. We just wanted to try it out, and he was angry enough that to where he like grabbed a hold of it. So that was pretty cool. Um, and I'm gonna put him right back in the water right now. I just dipped him in my live well. I'm gonna break the giant claw off. This is a keeper claw as well, and it's a regrow. I'm not gonna take it. I'm gonna conserve and let him live another day, and that gives him a better chance. You see how I'm holding him? I have one thumb back here and all my fingers on top. And then you just take this claw and you just pull down. And it's meant to break at an angle like that. So you just like break it downward. And if they're in a fight with another stone crab, they actually like intentionally break off their claw so they can escape when they're in fighting other stone crabs. But you just break down, it pops right off. Just like that. All right, he's going back home. Come on, Marine. Scared. Tight. Now get the other one, get the other claw, get the other claw. Hold both claws. There you go. Now fold that one down. Down. Forward and down. Forward and, and down. And it'll snap. A little further down. Perfect. Nice job, Marine. Awesome. We got some stud. We got some studs. Look at this. He got the giant one. Look at these claws. Jumbo claws in the restaurant. Booyah. Wrapping up our day, epic day. As you can see, it's getting dark, it's getting chilly, there's a cold front coming through, but that was a great first day on the water for Connor. Fortunately, we didn't get that stuck, but he's here for 10 days on his 10 day leave, and then he's headed to Camp Geiger, and that's in North Carolina. North Carolina. So we are gonna go home. We're doing the catch and cook with the stone crabs really soon this week. Stay tuned for that. Also, make sure to check out my 2018 calendars, the fish hook and anchor places that I'm always wearing, like always, stone crab necklaces, all that good stuff. Link down in the description below. Subscribe and like. And until our next adventure, follow your dream and keep, keep on, on catching. Look at that. That's crazy. That's crazy. Both of these are keeper claws. What should I do? Release them with one, right?